Hi, I'm Jared Pumphrey. And I'm Jerome Pumphrey. We're brothers, and we're the authors and illustrators of The Old Truck and The Old Boat. We are so excited to be with you today. A uh, big shout out and thank you to Austin Parks Foundation and the Texas Book Festival for having us. Um, we are thrilled. They invited us to come and give you an art lesson. And we thought we'd give you an art lesson based on how we made the art in this book. Uh, we made over 300 stamps to make the art in the book. We're going to show you exactly what we did to do that. But first, we're going to read the book so you can see the story and the pictures that inspired the project we're going to do today. Let's do it. The Old Boat by Jarrett and Jerome Pumphrey. Off a small island, an old boat rode the tide. First shallow. Then deep. Then deeper. The old boat caught wants. And wishes. Waves. and wonders. But the old boat rode farther. And farther. Far from home, the old boat was cold and lonely and lost. On a small island, a new sailor turned the tide. First shallow. Then deep. Then deeper. Off a small island, an old boat was home. And that's the old boat. Hope you enjoyed it. So our project is inspired by the old boat. 
we're actually going to make a print of an animal, a sea creature, one of our favorites, these turtles. We like these turtles. We're going to show you how to make a turtle stamp and then make a piece of art with that stamp. All right, so first things, let's cover the supplies we're going to use. We make our stamps out of foam. So we take a little bit of this and we put it on this. This is foam core and we have a stamp. So you'll need some of this. We use glue to glue our foam to our foam core. So you'll need a glue stick. Uh, we cut our foam with scissors. You just want to be careful with scissors. These are sharp. If you need help, just feel free to ask a grown up and they can help you cut out your foam. You need some markers. We we'll use a black marker to draw our sea turtle on our foam. And then we finish our image with markers. We also use markers in our books to make certain things in our books. So we'll show you how we do that. We're gonna use a green and a yellow marker, but feel free to use any other colors that you might have. You need a pen. We'll show you how we use this. So get any kind of pen or pencil, something with a pointy end on it. And then we're gonna make our sea turtle green for this project. So you need some green ink um, or green paint or really any color you want. You can make a turtle any color you want. So those are the supplies. Uh, once you have all that, we can start our project. And the first step is to draw our sea turtle. So I'm going to let Jerome do that first. He's going to show you how to draw a sea turtle on your phone. All right. So we are going to draw our sea turtle here. And I'll show you the shapes that we use to make the sea turtle. So the first shape that we're going to draw is a lemon shape in the middle of the foam. And that's going to be the shell. So we want that to be pretty big right here. So we'll start with the top curve like this. And then we'll just do the same thing for the bottom curve the other way. like that. And now we're going to add the head. And the way I do that is we're going to turn it like this and draw a teardrop shape coming from the side here. So it'll look something like this. All right. And now for the legs, we're going to do kind of like a football shape right here in the front like that. And then we're going to just connect it with some little straight lines. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing for the back. Another football shape near the back here. And again, just connect that with some lines. Okay, so now we're going to add some details here. So we'll do an eye, which is just a simple dot right there. And then on the shell, uh, we're going to start with a curved line, just like this line but right above it. So that'll look like this. All right. And then we're going to put another line in the middle of our space here. And it's kind of like a minus sign, just like that. And now we're going to connect that to the outer edges. So we'll go like this. Okay, and those are all the details for the turtle, and that's our turtle. Awesome, it's a good looking turtle. All right, once you have your turtle, next step is to cut it out. Now, you're gonna see me here, I'm gonna cut this out in the pieces, and then we're going to sort of reassemble it like a puzzle. I'll show you what I mean here. So you get your scissors, you just take it slow, and we cut around the outside of the shapes. You don't have to worry too much about making it perfect. Just follow the line as best you can, making sure you're careful not to cut yourself. So we're gonna cut the head out. We'll come back to that and finish it. We're gonna focus on our shell here. We'll start with the top, cut around the edge. I'm going to cut around the bottom. We're just going to cut the legs off. Again, we'll come back to those. 
like that. So we've got a shell. Finish our head here. Just cut around the shape. Like that. Not perfect, but remember, it doesn't have to be. So that's that. And we'll finish our legs. Just cut this extra palm away. Make it easier on ourselves. Okay, we'll start here. Cut this straight line like this. Cut this straight line there. And then follow around our shape. Bring it around. Yeah. Like that. That's one. Do the front. front. Go around the edge. Okay. All right, now here's the puzzle part. You see, I've already cut the head and the fins off. We're going to cut this into pieces too. So we just follow the lines. Just take our time, cut the bottom of the shell off like this. One part. We'll just cut once here. There. That's that part. See how it went together? Like that. And keep track of that. Once there. There. That one came out. Goes over there. And then like that. This is the top. This is the bottom. All right. So we're going to put all that back together on our foam core with some glue. You might be wondering why we cut it all up, all into pieces if we're just going to put it back together. Well, I'm going to show you here. You'll see how it how it works. You take your glue. And you just put glue all over your foam core. Just make sure you got plenty there. Then we start gluing our turtle down. Now, we're gonna start with our shell. And when we're doing this, we wanna flip it over so none of this black ink ends up in our final picture. So we just take a part, we put it down, Remember, it's the opposite because we're flipping it over. Okay, so this part goes over here, like this, just like that. This part goes over here, like that. Put our bottom in there. And that. Like that. And our fins. We're going to put our front fin on this side, put our back fin on this side, and finally put our head just like that. Okay? You see those little spaces? That's what we're after. Now ink won't get in those spaces and we'll end up with lines in our final, in our final print. Now, last step is to give our turtle an eye, and that's where you want a, a pen or a pencil, because you're just gonna poke where the eyeball will go. Just push through like that. That's our stamp, all done. So let's make a print. Get our paper, we take our ink, and we just ink our stamp. 
You just press the ink pad onto your stamp evenly. Make sure you cover it. You want to try to not get ink around the edge. I'm not doing a fantastic job here, but just do your best to get it on the foam. And once you have a green turtle, you know you're done. You take it, center it up, Let's push down, and press firmly on the back of your stamp. You rub around a little bit, make sure you got good print. You pick it up. And there's our turtle. So our, our, our project isn't done yet. We want to put our turtle somewhere, not just floating on a piece of white paper. And we'll let Jerome do that next part. All right. That's a great print. So what we're going to do with it is we'll add for the environment for this turtle, we're going to put it on the beach. Okay. So we've got a yellow marker and that's what we're going to use for our sand. And, uh, what we'll draw is just a little mound of sand. So that's just going to be a curved line here behind and in front of the turtle. And then we'll just round that off on the bottom like this. Okay. And now we'll just fill it in as though we were coloring in a coloring book. And you don't have to be too careful. We're just putting the color around the turtle. All right. And I think that's pretty good for that. Okay, and so the next thing we'll do is add some plants on the beach. So we've got a green marker. And I'm going to draw some grass in the front. So those are just some straight lines like this. Okay, and then we'll do some leafy plant over here. So I'll draw some leaf shapes behind the turtle. And that's our picture. And that's how we make art with stamps. And I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was great to be with you today. And uh, we hope the rest of your summer is super fun. Hope you get outside, maybe make it to the beach. Uh, have a good time. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.